Hey there, welcome to the list of my channel. Welcome to a quickie. A quickie. I dreamed about my ex. What does it mean? <laughs> obviously, I really love... Um, obviously, this is going to be different for everybody. But let's see if there's a little something that we can take. This is a general reading. Um, but we can see, whomever finds this, what we can suss out a little bit from what it may have meant. I love dream interpretation. I love taking the elements of a dream, breaking them down. And I encourage you to do that. It really helps you get connected to your intuitive symbols. And there's a plethora of sources online that you can type in different things and how it felt. And then I love interpreting the dreams of my friends when they tell them to me and we break them down. And it's usually very insightful. And usually nightmares are kind of the best because they tell you about big changes that you're going through. Um... And that you've like overcome because you know that's a shadow self being sort of a, a, a confronted uh and that's that's awesome <laughs> in like the best way so i digress six three four timestamps will be in the description box below and to the best of my ability we will try to see what your dream meant i'll see you in your reading bye hey number five number three <laughs> I almost called you number five. Why? Um, what did that dream about your ex mean? Or like, what was the message behind it? Or like, what the what, 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 what? Um, let's find out. Let's have a bit of fun and see if we can get at least one of the nuggets out. What's, what's the message? We have protecting treasure. <sighs> this may have been uh, a confusing dream or a turbulent type dream. Um, I feel like this dream may have been calling your attention to some troubles that you're having. And maybe it's something that your ex could have helped or like some characteristic of your ex that you... Bro, no other cards want to come out from this. <laughs> I'm just shuffling. I'm like, girl, you gonna come out? Yeah. Um, some type of energy that like your ex represented for you. Um, maybe they were good at something, or maybe they didn't do something, or um, maybe a skill that they had, or a trait that you admired it was something that could have been useful, or even a trait that you didn't like, or a trait that you were afraid of. That's a lot. Oh, we have you're ready. Okay. I'm getting way more of an idea here of what this dream meant. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Um, <laughs> I get it. Um, that just punctuates the sort of energy I was getting. Here's the thing. Um, for you, number three, this dream, the, 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 one of the meanings from it, or a big sort of realization that this dream, or your brain, or your psyche, or higher self, whatever, is trying to communicate to you, is that you've reached a certain milestone when it relates to this person, um, you're ready to face a fear. Something that you've been thinking about, definitely. I mean, for sure. Something that you've been thinking about in the back of your head was presenting itself in this dream. And while it might be in relation to your ex, it could be. But it's in relation to something that you've been afraid of. There's something in your life that you haven't been taking action on. Something that you may have been hiding from. Something that you may have been really thinking over and over. Being in that procrastination brain. Um, that you haven't taken action on. Like you haven't moved on it. And this dream was trying to tell you that you were ready to move. You're ready to move through. For some of you, you know, verbatim. This is a dream that shows you maybe how far you've come in releasing your ex. Well, that's actually not verbatim. That's another message. It may have shown you how far you've come in releasing that specific person. It may have been about that specific person. About how you are more equipped to 
how like your feelings for them have changed a bit and this dream was a way of sort of like clearing the trash dare i say it um clearing out some energies for you that you you used to hold on to but you've been doing other things and so that's helped sift them from your mind a bit for some of you it's it's a dream that's telling you to release them um, the time has come for you to take the steps to actively release this person and stop protecting that dynamic. Stop protecting, like, your imaginations about what it was or what it could have been or or even just what it truly was aside from imaginations. You know, there were... Stop protecting, like, the memories or stop protecting the ideals that you have about that person or that dynamic and let it go release that energy because clearly they're no longer that person they were once and they're no longer that person um or you're no longer in that dynamic anymore and it's 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 okay for you to release them or that you have released something <laughs> Especially how you felt about it. But I digress. This may not even have anything to do with your ex. This could have something to do with... You've been procrastinating on something in your life. And your dream is telling you that you are getting closer to actually acting on it. Is it quitting a job? Is it getting a job? Is it um, being friendly? I don't know. Whatever your thing is. You are... You're in the back of your brain, like that back plate of the stove that nobody uses, that you just put pots to chill (laughs) or, you know, to move them over there as a placeholder. That's been on the slow burn and your brain is telling you, hey, we've figured something out here and I think you're sort of ready to move it to the to the pot to, to bring it forward. So that's nice. I hope whatever venture or activity or thing that you've been low-key avoiding and procrastinating on um, actually happens. I think you're, you're ready and you've been holding on to not take any risks, um, but you're in a better position to take those risks. It may have nothing to do with your ex. <laughs> they are just the one that represents something for you you know what i mean all right my friend this is what i got for you keep your light on good luck i'll see you next time mm-hmm. hey number four so what did that dream about your ex mean you know, what what did it what was the message for you now i want to let you know that sometimes our dreams are not about the exact things that we're dreaming of okay So a dream about, you know, your ex cheating on you or you marrying your ex because I had a dream about that once. Um, It may not mean, you know, it may mean that you miss them. It may mean that, but it could also mean that you're ready to go back to an idea of yours that didn't work out once upon a time, but maybe you're ready to try it again. You know, that could be a message for you. It doesn't have to be about that person or that trait that this person represents is something that you're willing to bring back and nurture within yourself. So if you're expecting, you know, I don't know what you're expecting, but don't have any expectations about what this might mean. It's just a message for you from what that dream might have invited you to consider. Let's go. Tell me about what number four is dream messages for number four i want to go home (laughs) i don't know why i want to go home (laughs) i don't know what that means maybe it means something for you oh my gosh this is a lot i'm gonna stop here i'm not gonna pull anymore movement spark in reverse um spark in the protection there's something better unrequited love this is telling this is telling you that there's something that may not have worked out in your life something that you really wished for and maybe you thought that this idea was actually for you but it's it 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 the the dream was sort of communicating that a part of I think I feel like the dream was communicating something that you don't want to 
look at or come to terms with or give credence to or acknowledge within yourself, which is that whatever this thing that you've been doing in your life that you thought was for you, um, whether it's a career or it could be a person or whatever, is not for you or not for you at this time and that's difficult to let go of um it's sort of telling you that it's time to move on and that's really difficult to hear i feel like there's something that you really wanted something that you put so much faith and trust in and something that you wished for something that you were serious about something that you put a lot of your energy your creative energy your time your and en- your resources you know your love and your affection, something that you studied or, you know, whatever the case may be. But this dream was trying to communicate to you that there is a part of you that believes that this isn't working out, a part of you that believes that this isn't, this may not be for you anymore. It could be something in the vicinity, but this dream was trying to communicate to you that you need to look at it's this painful thing that isn't rewarding you the way you hoped it would. That isn't turning out the way you hoped it would. And it's maybe telling you to move. Move from that idea and try something different. Because there could be something better that will come in, in the in the future. Um, there Or there could be no guidance necessarily it's just a part of your brain that has been on the back burner that has been slowly saying hey maybe this isn't it maybe it's something else maybe we missed the mark maybe we've been investing in something that isn't for us and we need to open up our minds and attempt to explore what else is out there doesn't mean completely let it go it just means maybe disconnect a little bit or not put as much of ourselves into it and see what else comes to fill up that space because i feel like this sucks this is something that you haven't been wanting to look at and this dream was maybe even like a nice dream but it's it's something that you is inviting you to take another more serious look at this thing that you've been associating with or working towards or giving to that isn't giving to you anymore and consider where else you might find some set wow <laughs> consider where else you might find success or um yeah for some of you it might even be saying goodbye completely but the stream is just at the very least saying hey look at this real quick hey look at this because this is this has been depleting you this has been depleting you and it's not giving you what you need so where can you go to find what you need well maybe you continue working on this but you know you're being depleted and you need to re-up somewhere and right now this place ain't it okay say that i think i'm gonna stick with that yeah all right my friend uh let me know how it goes in the comments um keep your light on of course good luck i wish you everything and good luck with this all right bye-bye Hey, number six. Hey, number six. So number six, like I said, these are quickies. Um, This is about what that ex, wow, what that dream about your ex means. Do not expect to hear this is about your ex. 
Sometimes dreams use people as a means to communicate other things because dreams are symbols. But sometimes it is that person. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. This is just taking a gamble um, at looking at what your dream could have been trying to communicate to you. Whether it applies to your ex or another area of your life. We'll see what happens. We'll see what comes through. But so far, this has been really fun. You let me know. Um if this feels familiar. Also, I do encourage that you do go and look up your dream. I love doing that for my own dreams and some of my friends' dreams when we're really like getting into it. Um, looking at the individual dream symbols and the like. So this is just a potential suggestion of what this dream could have meant, okay? Or at least something spirit may have been trying, your brain may have been trying to communicate to you, your higher self, whatever. The Queen of Pentacles, a leg up in protection, attraction in reverse, and finances and career, okay. Um... You, your dream about your ex was about your stability in your, your future, your present, your past, how maybe your dreams have changed, how maybe you may not be in a position the way you thought you might be or want to be, or maybe you are in certain places and it's just not what you thought it could be. Um, what I'm seeing here, that's not really even what I was going to say, so, okay. What I'm seeing here is someone who needs some help, but doesn't like to ask for help. So, you sit with that. Um, I'm seeing someone who likes to work by themselves. And while that's fine, there's almost like an urge here that you'll you'll go farther if you get some help. Uh, cool. That's one story. What was the message I was initially getting with this? It's like it's escaped me. So I'm trying to get the flavor of like what this dream was. I don't know if it was a good dream or a bad dream. <laughs> Something in between. But either way, it's could even be about your worries about your money, your worries about your stability in your life and how things have changed or things need to change. where you put your energy has sort of maybe lost its appeal it's still there but it's almost like eh a little bit like it's eh down um like if it used to be a nine it's now like a six you know like it's still there it's still above a five but it's like mm. um Clean it up. Let's get these guys. What did this dream about this X mean? Here's the thing. I feel like certain colors in your dream, if there was red, I feel like you're, I feel like you're worried about money, my guy. It's just weird. Like, I feel like this dream had more to do about your money than anything else. Like, your stability at the very mo at the very least. Um, and what that looks like for your future. And wondering if you've invested in this in the things that you still care to invest. Like, there's a reevaluation here of what you care to invest in. And again, this could be, you know, 
again, it could be with your ex, you know, oh, this person, you put so much energy into it, or, you know, they, blah, blah, blah. Re yeah, yeah. A reevaluation. <laughs> A reevaluation. But, you know, it would be, if it is about your ex, this is someone who you are squinting at. And I'm not even sure if this person is your ex. You're probably out here being like, well, I mean, I'm bad. This person is still someone that I'm kind of with or looking at or whatever, but it's it's some type of reevaluation here of the choices that you've made. There's just a part of your brain or your psyche that's doing an evaluation and going, have I made the right choices? Like, what are the choices that I've made? And not even so much in a judging type of way, but just trying to do like a yearly review, you know, like a life review at a certain stage where you're making changes for your future stability and you're in this your your back of your brain has dele been delegated the task of like okay we're doing a review things are changing and like what do we need to reevaluate and i feel like this dream was about what you've been thinking about about evaluating your, your choices your life where you put your energy and your stability in the future and perhaps that's something that pertains to your ex. You know, your ex is something that maybe you reevaluated. Maybe you gave them multiple chances. Maybe this is someone who you could have had something with and you're evaluating those choices. You're evaluating their character, etc. Other things that were involved in that dynamic. But there's something here about... Where you've put your efforts in. Maybe for some, I don't know, if you're a reconsider, I don't know, <laughs> reconsider, I guess, for I just, my mouth refuses to say some of your reconsidering getting back with your ex, maybe, like, maybe this has made you reconsider, you know, and maybe that's another, like, plot device that your brain has used to help you go, okay, maybe I should reach out and see what's up with them and see if I made the right choice or if I, da -da -da -da, or whatever the case may be. But there's just something here about you, your 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 brain doing an an analysis, a, a cleanup, so to speak, an assessment of where are we, what are we doing, where are we going to put our, our 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 attentions moving forward? Because I think when you go in, you really go in. I think also there's just a, a strong energy of somebody who doesn't who does things by themselves here. The Queen of Pentacles is that, like, overachiever, overdoer in, in her overly done state. With this, this is an overly done state. Someone who goes too hard. And I feel like something that you've gone too hard in, your brain is calling out that, hey, uh... Maybe we need to shift our expectations on it. Maybe we need to shift how things need to be or how much of ourselves we need to put into this thing. Whatever this thing is for you. Okay? Alright, my friend. Um, that was kind of fun. Let me know if you liked it. I wish you everything. I really do. I hope this works out and keep going after what you want you know that's awesome it's amazing